to Living Local. As Canadians, skating is in our blood. And what's better than skating at an outdoor rink? Well, what about if you put that rink at the Harbourfront Centre in Toronto? So James, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do here? Sure, my name is James Salisco and I am the Recreation Supervisor at the Natrell Rink down at the Harbourfront Centre. So the Harbourfront Centre has so many things to do, but we are here for Skate by the Lake. How many people do you see show up to these events every day? Oh, it's it, it, we get a lot of people of all ages, uh, all day long, uh, day and night. At night we tend to get more adults, less families. Tomorrow night's our Saturday night DJ night. That is a big, big night for people to come out and party. And so we get big, big crowds. Earlier the better, that's Earlier all I'm saying. And is the Harbour Front Centre open all day for people to skate usually? Absolutely. We open up at 9 in the morning. Uh, last people are off the ice by 10 p.m. except for Fridays and Saturdays. They're off the ice by 11 p.m. at night. So you run the skate shop here. If people are coming for the first time and don't really own a pair of skates, how can they go about renting something here? Well, that's easy. As long as you've got some government ID, photo ID, we can rent you a pair of skates. We've got figure skates, we've got hockey skates, all the way up from size 15, all the way down to kid sizes about this big. We offer skate sharpening. Uh, earlier in the year, we offer uh, things like uh, learn to skate programs. And we have a lot of uh, guards that are out that'll help you people around the rink if they have any problems skating. We are here with Emmanuel, who is a rink guard. What does a rink guard do here at the Harbour Front Center? Um, I basically patrol um, the, the, the rink and make sure everyone's safe and having fun. So if somebody falls, are you the first person to the rescue? I'm basically the first responder until medics arrive, but yeah. Okay, and being here, what is, what is the safest way to go about skating on this rink? Slow and steady, definitely. What's your favorite part about working basically under the city lights? Oh, it's beautiful. I love the scene. Uh, the scenery is beautiful. The airport, the scene tower, the moon, you know, everything about it is really beautiful. Because you're outdoors. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's cold, but it's worth it. Yeah. Emmanuel, you got to promise that if I fall, you will catch me. Most definitely. Okay. I will. <laughs> I'm trusting you. Okay, of course. Good. here skating by the lake today and I'm here with a beautiful couple who's ready to get out there. Are you excited for tonight? Uh, I would be if it was slightly warmer. Mm. Yeah. And where are you from originally? Uh, I was born in London so I've been here since 2016. Awesome. And what is so enticing about coming to a country that's really cold and then skating right by the waterfront? Uh, that's a great question. Unfortunately I didn't plan this date so you'd have to ask Jessica that. <laughs> uh, I think it's most fun to see the lake, mm -hmm. hold hands hands and just romantically enjoy the night. And it's a good way to keep warm too, right? Ah, uh, yeah, just your hands though, just your hands. Just your hands. Yeah. How did you guys uh, find out about this event today? Uh, so Joey actually organized this. Uh, I think we did it last year as a bunch of guys from the University of Toronto. And so it's Friday night, come out, do something fun. You know, when I came here last, I, I should say I'm from Ottawa. Oh, cool. And my friend brought us here last time. I, the first thing I said, well, you know, it's no Rideau Canal, but it'll do. I mean, Ottawa has the size of the canal, but this, this has the convenience by the lake, of course. So. And it's so beautiful. You get to skate and you get to see a view of the scene tower. Hopefully I won't fall and uh, that'll be a successful night for me. If you're, uh, look, if you're looking for something warm, something to eat, you can head upstairs to the Boxcar Cafe. Uh, there's lots of coffees, whiskeys, hot chocolates, things like that. Uh, we have a, an area called uh, the, the, uh, the heating zone, which is uh, uh, tables underneath heating lamps. You can keep warm there. And of course, you can always hang out in the change room if you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your favorite part about seeing community come together like this and enjoy a night on the water, enjoy the beautiful lights and, at night? Oh, well, first of all, you, you, can't, you can't beat skating by the lake. It is absolutely beautiful. It's as beautiful in the morning when the sun is coming up over the frozen lake as it is at nighttime. Uh, but I think my favorite thing is the groups that come in. We get groups from schools, we get community groups that come in, we've got uh, students from uh, other countries that come in, English is a second language, it could be all kinds of things. And everybody does the same thing. They all skate, they all fall down, and they leave laughing. It, it, it just brings everybody together. We do rent helmets. Uh, they're not required uh, unless you're taking our skating
driving lessons, but we do recommend them. They're all brand new and they're all, you know, uh, they're all up to safety code. Uh, we also have an area on the rink that we have called the slow zone, which is kind of roped off when it's not being used for skating lessons. It allows people that are not that comfortable to have their own little private space. And I will definitely be on the slow zone today because I'm not an expert skater at all. So. Me neither, me neither. <laughs> So I'm ready to go skating. Can you help me find the pair of skates that fit me, right? Oh, we certainly can. We certainly can. Let's get you a pair of, what do you want, figure skates? Figure skates. We'll get you some figure skates. We'll get you out on the rink right now. Sounds good. I'm excited. So you guys said you're from India, so this yeah. is obviously very cold compared to <laughs> India. How is it like skating on the waterfront? So it's fine so far, it's my second time that I'm skating. Now I'm getting a, a little better at it. So it's fine, I fell a lot the first time. But hopefully now today would be much better than the last time. And how are you handling the cold? But now it's getting better, we're getting used to it. Playing in the snow, walking in the snow, it's fun, the views are nice. So yeah. What's your favorite part about skating on the waterfront? Oh, I think it's definitely something really unusual because you wouldn't find something like this back in India. So it's definitely an amazing experience that we are having over here. Yes. Have you fallen on the ice yet? Not yet. <laughs> and uh, have you taken any lessons? No, these are my two lessons they'll be teaching. <laughs> you got to make sure you're yeah, teaching her properly, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the tutors are not trained themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and Canadians are very friendly, so if you run into anyone, they'll just yeah, say sorry just, and it'll yeah. be fine. That's fine. That's one of the upsides to ice skating here. Yeah. People are always you know, trying to help you make your way. Yeah. Yeah, so that's Canadians, okay. right? Canadians, yeah. <laughs> I came in the summer, that's how I knew it was here. Yeah, the skating was good in the summer? <laughs> yeah, it was great. The skating was so good in the summer. It was like top notch. <laughs> okay, good. It's my first time. Awesome. And are you guys going to come back again, you think? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, tomorrow morning. <laughs> tomorrow morning, let's get it on. You guys might have to teach me how to skate a little okay. later. Okay, great. Good. Thank you so much. Thank great. you. Bye. Yes. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.